What's going on? Um, the doctor is not out yet. He's not out yet? Yes. This is bad. I smell danger. <laughs> doctor. Your face is not bright at all. Um, Doctor, how how is my father? Can I can I see him? I'm sorry. We lost him. Eh? What? We tried all we could, but I'm so sorry. See his body. That is not a problem. We we'll arrange with the nurse so that they just see his body for him to the mock. Oh God! Very sorry. So, Uncle, what next? The Igbo must be informed immediately and the skeptic will return to the palace. Then I should be on my way to the palace. Go with your brother. With my brother? Why? Just do as I said. Uncle, I'm the first son of Onuowu Echezona. And I have the right to go and break the news of the demise to the king. So why should I go with my brother? Do not look down the walls of Anaida. The grey hair you see dotting all over my head is not there for fancy. It signifies wisdom. no more.
couldn't make it. Good morning, sir. I want to say the king is an urgent matter of life and death. All right. You wait while I inform the king about your presence. Onowu's son is here to see you. He said it's a matter of life and death. Matter of life and death? Yes, Your Highness. Tell him I will be with him shortly. All right, Your Highness. I hope Onowu is still alive. I hope Onowu survive the surgery. So your father, Onowo, my friend, did not make it at last. Your Highness, that's why I'm here. Onowo. Huh? Alive. Sit down, my son. So your father, Onowo, my friend, did not make it at last. Your Highness, I'm here to announce the death of my father, the Onowu of this kingdom, and to return this scepter. My son, it is the son that will bury the father, and not the other way around. I've heard you. Go home and put your father's house in order. I have received your message. Thank you, Your Highness. That's why I'm here. You have to accompany your brother to the palace and break the news of your father's death to him. He already did that. I just have to meet him later in the day at the family house. You mean Ebuna went to the palace after all my warnings to him? Is there anything wrong with him going alone? My friend, listen. When an elder speaks, children listen. You must not understand everything the first time. Ha, go out of I have a wife and a son, remember? 
and that makes you more a child than you think. So I don't know. Uncle Theo came to the house earlier today. He said I should accompany you to the palace to tell the Igwe concerning our father's death. Why is Uncle Theo bent on this? Is there something you're not telling me? I don't know. I just don't know. But you've passed the message across, right? Of course I have. So did he say anything? I did not say anything, only some words of encouragement. Okay. But what I want to know is why must Uncle Theo want you to follow me to the palace? <sighs> Honestly, that I can't tell. Maybe, but you've told the Igwe now. Oh, you know what? Don't let that bother you. We should just focus on the task ahead. It's okay. Yeah. Since you've told the king, so maybe he thought you haven't. I don't know. There's something that he's not telling me. There is something about this. After he told me about it, he still went to my brother's house to tell him same. It's not something I will overlook. Uncle Theo is hiding something from us. You never told me you were coming. <sighs> Uncle, I came to know if there is any problem. Is there something you're hiding from me? And what could that be? Uncle, I'm talking about why must you insist that Ndodi must follow me to the palace? But we've already gone to the palace. Yes, yes. Is there any other issue? Yes. And you said you came to his house to tell him to follow me to the palace. And I became curious. Uh, Is there something I should know? I'm on my way to your family compound. Visitors are coming to sympathize with us. So, you should be there to receive them. Uh, I'm welcome. Open that gate.
good friend. Ebuna. Your Highness. Come and kneel down here. By the power bestowed upon me as the Igwe of this kingdom, I hereby hand over this scepter to you as the owner of this kingdom for you to start from where your late father stopped. A yet to be understood message. a message from God. Mm. I know. And the message is all about your destiny. Your uncle has a role to play in your destiny and it's left for you to allow him to succeed in playing the role or stop him from playing the role that is the message of your dream a reason for my uncle's action. He wants to hand over my betrayal to my younger brother. Hey, Uncle Theo, is that how wicked you are? Don't worry. After the burial, you shall see my red color. I've been waiting here since morning, and your wife told me you were coming. Now that I'm here, 
Tell me why you want to see me. Because I'm in a haste. It's all right. <clears throat> it is barely one month. Your father, my brother, was buried. And I no longer receive my weekly allowances. Why? I give orders to the management to remove your name from the pay list. You gave the orders? Yes, I did. Why? Because the company is my inheritance. I own the company now. I say and give orders on how things go there. So, I want you to put that in your brain. Do you have another thing to ask? sitting room for hours without any form of cola. When he finally walked down, he ordered me to say what brought me to his house without greeting me. Hey, when I didn't greet you, he said not to your brother, call him on phone and ask him. I can't believe this. He was not missing word when he told me to my face that he was the one that excluded my name from the company's playlist. Is he out of his mind? You asking me, call him. He's your brother. Because according to him, he is now the new boss. What kind of stupid new boss? Has he lost it? Um, Uncle, see, you don't have to worry yourself, okay? I will go to his house this evening and know the reason for all this nonsense. Don't worry. You don't have to worry. You are our responsibility. And we should take care of you, okay? Look, Ozugo, I will meet him up this evening. Whatever it is, must be sorted out tonight. Okay? Oh? Ozugo, Ozugo, don't worry. Why would you do a thing like that? I owe you no explanation for my actions. And I owe nobody any explanation on how I run my company. Father's company, you mean? Father is not here. Do I need to remind you? Do I need to remind you that he was the one that set the roots in? He was so much in love with his brother. They shared a lot in common. Why would you stop the company from paying him money? You don't even know how it came. This is just the beginning for Uncle Theo. He should expect more from me. Hey, Buna, are you out of your mind or something? Hey, hey. wrong choice of word for your elder brother. Listen, I do not care, all right? What has that man done to you to deserve such wickedness from you? If you really care to know, then you're going to ask him. What is happening? Who is after my bad Hey, what ain't the bad What will he say that I did to him? Uncle, I don't eh? know. Honestly, I can't remember wronging him. How can I plan evil against my blood brother, son? That is what I don't understand. I keep saying I should inquire from you. I just don't understand. This whole thing is surprising to me. I mean, it's shocking. Eh? But it's okay, okay? Don't think too much. You know it's not good for you. At least you have me. Okay? I will personally make sure that your weekly allowances and your monthly salaries will not be skipped. Okay? I'll send them to you. Hi. At last. Blood is thicker than water. Thank you very much, Ozuko, my son. Ozuko. The only thing you do for me is stop thinking too much. 
Okay? I, I will know the meaning of this and I will sort it out. Oh, let's go in. Oh, I'll just, just go in. Let me stop thinking too much. Everything will be fine. I asked Uncle Theo and he said he can't remember doing anything bad to Ibuna. I really don't know what is wrong with Ibuna. But I thought your father enlisted Uncle Theo in his burial. Of course. So? My father loved his brother like he loved himself. Both of them had this strong bond that existed between them. Enlisting him on his payroll was the best thing he did for him. My father bought him cars, built that house for him, and he advised us to do the same for him. Ibuna forgot about everything and is acting so abnormal. Just calm down, okay? But you know, there's something really confusing about your uncle. Why is the man not married? Not even kids? Well, that's my, my, my father couldn't um, tell us that till he died. And you guys didn't bother to ask him either. Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall and getting mad. That dream? No. What is this? Same message. Huh. I, 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 I think Uncle Theo is up to something. And I have to stop him. I just, I just have to stop him. Good. Why is it that people who look so innocent are usually the most dangerous? Why? I can never allow him to have his ways. Never. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring it to reality? I fight in the air, 
punching the wall and getting hot. Where is that evil man that calls himself my uncle? Where is he? Where is that evil man? Come out here! You! Baby, what is it again? I know all your particle steps. To disinherit me and hand over my birthright to my brother. To my own younger brother. I know your plans. Ebuna, you know nothing about what you are talking about. I know a lot. I know a lot. But let me tell you, you will not succeed. Before you succeed, I will have your head on a plate for my dinner. Meiji si gongo. You see you? You are an evil man. See this house you're living in? Was built with my late father's money. The car you're driving was bought with my late father's money. And all your properties. And you're planning evil for me. See, let me tell you, before you succeed, me me cha. And you know what? Go inside there, pack all your dirty belongings and leave this compound. Because if I revisit this compound, what I will do to you, eh? Oh my God. Hey, Buddha, listen to me. I am not going anywhere. Yes, I am not going anywhere. Ah. You heard me right. Ah. Listen, do your worst. Okay. Whatever will happen tomorrow, let it happen now. No, no, no. I should do my worst, right? Yes, do your worst. I should do my worst, right? Wait and see. Just wait for me. What's all this? Huh? No, 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 wait for me. I'm coming back. What I'll do to you, eh? Mm. If I do not use your head from Gongo, call me a bastard. Oh, okay, okay, watch out. Uh. Just watch. Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring it to reality? Hey! Open that gate for him! Okay, sir! Don't allow this vehicle to visit here again! Okay, sir! Good afternoon. What? Now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm coming there. I'm coming there now. <laughs> what is wrong with Ebuna? Hi. Anybody to take away my right? I will die. Boss, yeah. we'll force the gate open and throw him out with his luggages. His security man was humbled immediately, so man. Good work. That's a very good work. Where is the new key? These are the key, boss. Nice. This is beautiful. What's 
possibility of it. You say when I'm mad. No, what's the meaning of this nonsense? I don't know. I don't know why Ebuna hate me so much. I don't know what I what I did to him. <laughs> what kind of wickedness? Ebuna hate me that I did nothing to Ebuna. Uncle, it's okay. Just it's okay. <laughs> I know he will call. Hello, Ebuna. What what's the meaning of this nonsense now? Ask that evil man with you there. Why is he so wicked to me? What have I done to him? What, 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 what do you mean what, what, what he has done to you? Are you out of your mind? You have no right to chase him out of the house of our late father built for him. Not after what he told us before he died. What kind of stupid attitude is this? If you know what is good for you, come and open this gate now. Or I will break it or I will call the police for you. What is your problem? You can go ahead and report me to the police. I give no damn about it. And as for that evil man there, he will never sleep a night in that house anymore. Never. I should report you to the police. Ebony, I should report you to the police. Do you know you're very mad? Do you know you're very mad? Rubbish. Don't take me, baby, he hung the call on me. How we close me. How we close. And if I believe my love is my love. Leave Ebuna to keep his house. Please take me to my brother. No, I cannot do that. Not when I'm still alive. I cannot take you back to that touch house. Go to sleep. Uncle, stop saying that to you. No, no, your late brother built this house for you. Ebuna has no right. You know what? Just, just stop crying, okay? Before I take any decision, I must see the Igwe. But for now, let's live here. No, stop telling me, please. Let's live here for now. If you involve Igwe now, if you involve Igwe, a lot of things will come up. Please, leave what you're saying. I will know. I will know if Ebuna is mad. I can manage in your voice contact. Please take no sense. Yes. Can you imagine? Eh? What, 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 what God has it to, to, to take, take you out of the house your brother built for you? I, why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations Why bring it to reality? I fight in the air Punching the wall and getting hot oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Still trying to understand is why your brother will throw out your uncle out of the same house built for him by your late father. Why? What right has he? Hebuna has lost it. Seriously. Yeah. I even wanted to send uncle back into the house, but he refused. No. 
I won't go back to that house. I'm no longer safe there. That boy is very mean. I wouldn't know his next move. But uncle, why is Ebuna particularly wicked and mean to you? Why? Exactly my thought. Like, it's hard to understand. I guess someone is feeding him with lies about me. But I'm sorry for him. He will end up creating more problems for himself. I like the way you're following him up. I like the way you're following it man to man. Now he's aware you know what he knows. You see, I, I keep asking myself, no, I, I mean, Uncle Theo and my father had a great bond. The love they had for themselves was much, and it extended to us. He used to love me and my brother the way he loved my late father. But I don't just know what went wrong. It's either he changed or he has been a hypocrite waiting for the right time to attack. Oh, you're right. The right time. My father's death was at the right time. Oh. I hope my father realizes his mistakes. Look at my wonderful daddy. Son, you, sir. you're welcome. welcome. Father, yes, sir. as I was coming, I saw this two big catfish, bigger than this. Wow. You know, I remember it's your favorite, so I have to buy them. Wow. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to call the chief chef to prepare it and serve you mm -hmm. so you enjoy it alone. But you do me a favor. Call your uncle. Tell him to come over so that we can eat the pepper soup together. Father, actually, I bought those catfishes for you, just for you. I want them to prepare it and uh, serve you the ones they're going to serve you and reserve the other ones in the freezer. Whenever you want it, they'll warm it for you. And you still have them. Son, do you have any problem with my brother eating those fishes with me? Father, you must not share everything good that comes your way with everybody. Sometimes you enjoy and be yourself and do your thing. Really? Yeah. If your intention is that I will not eat that fish with my brother, you better go home with it because I don't need it. Father, must, must you eat it with somebody? I, 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 I bought it specially for you. I say you can go home with it. I don't need it. It's okay. It's okay. Let me, let me call him. Where are these stewards? So they'll go and get it from my trunk. The hospital? Yes, yes, father. I want to see him right now. Oh, fa father, you can't, you can't. Are you taking me to the hospital or you want me to drive myself? No, father, it's late. There's no need for that. The doctor. Can I have the keys, please? I want to see my brother. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Okay. I'll take you there. Let's go right now, please. to rest since. At least I can rest now. It's better. Nothing will happen to you. Enugu. 
Mm -hmm. I am here now. You don't need to worry. Father, come on, let's go. It's late. Let's just go. Who is going to take care of him? The nurses and the doctor. I can't find any of them here. Father, if he needs them, he will call them. Can you hear yourself? Eh? So you want us to leave him here alone? No, I'm sleeping in this hospital. Dear oh, Father, you shouldn't forget your position in this kingdom. As you know more of this kingdom, how can you possibly sleep on the couch or sleep here? Oh no, is a title. I'm a man with flesh and blood in my veins. Mm. I love my family, and family comes before title. No. Go home. I'll be fine. Huh? I can go. Oh. They will go home to their wives. And you will sleep here alone, like somebody that has nobody. I'm not leaving this place until one of them volunteers to sleep with you. Only on that basis will I go home. Uh, Father, in, in that case, let me call my wife to drive to this place and, and stay with him then. What's all this? What's all this? What's going on? What's all this now? Eh? Let's go home. Um, Ebuna, you know what? Just um, take him home, okay? I, I I'll stay here with Uncle. Mm hmm Now you're talking. Let's, let's... You know, my father, you know, my late father was busy making plans for, for his brother. And he made us to promise him never to allow him to suffer. Not knowing that the person he was planning good for was there, planning how to scatter his family when he dies. I think your father should know better now. Are you going with my car key? Honey, I'm not using my car again until you fix the AC. Is your AC car faulty? Yes, I've been clamoring about it for the past two weeks now. Okay then, let me call the repairer so he would come and take you to the workshop. While I drive yours to the salon. Uh, babe, wait, wait. You cannot waste my whole day, okay? I have an appointment by 12 noon, please. Honey. Today is Saturday. Why not till you rest at home? Babe, I'm serious. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Come here. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Please do not waste my day. I won't.
Hello, Hello. customer. How are you? Fine, that's enough. Okay, please, I want to um, stretch my hair a little bit. Okay. Yes, I want you to stretch it well. You know the oil you used on me the last time? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I want you to do. Treated very well. Okay. How's your mother? She's fine. She went out. Thank you. Don't make it too hot. Too. No. Okay. So we start from the back. Yes. Hello to you. Why would you speak to me in that manner? Yes, it's you I'm talking to. You think I and my husband are not aware of your steps? How you, your husband, and Uncle Tio are going around buying the entire Igwe cabinet just to take away my husband's bed right. But you know what? Who God has blessed, no man can curse. You all have failed woefully. Go and tell your husband that whatever you all are planning will not work because. Whoever God has made king, no man can take away his crown. Okay, enough of it. You know, I've always thought that you were mannerless, but obviously you are senseless and as useless as you've always been. How dare you walk into a calm and quiet, reputable salon as this and spit such trash from your mouth? How dare you? It is you, your mother and your entire generation that is senseless and stupid. And if you get me angry, I'll tear you into rack. Bring my mother into this. Yes, I did. It's obvious you want the earth to swallow you and you're looking for an easy way to get out of it. But you know what? I won't give you that chance because you're just too little. Come on, let's finish this one. Come on, you don't have to. Who is your customer? This one. How much is she paying? Okay, so you want to go and finish this one. Come on, let's finish this one. I know you're just a talent, and I'm too responsible to have a fight with you. Hey! You're not the person I should be talking to. Hey! Look at that Agboro calling me doubt. Agboro like you for me responsible. Look at you. Agboro, oh, that is what you are. Agboro, beat me. Beat me. That is what you do. What you say you do. Beat me. Beat me up. You're not going anywhere. Come and beat me, oh, call wife. Call wife, come and beat me, oh. Beat me, beat me. Beat me. You, you say you will kill me. Come and kill me. You're useless. You're useless. I'm gonna whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna whoa. I'm gonna whoa. Come on, beat me up. Beat me up. Look at you. Look at 
I've exhausted my strength. I should bring water for you. I guess you're here for me to make your hair. Come. Is it me you're talking to? I am talking to you. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done that. How can you barge into this place and all of a sudden you chased away my customer? Why? Come on, be quiet. Are you mad? I said, are you mad? Why are you to talk to me in that manner? Hey, Madam, this morning, you do respect. Eh? We have rules, we have guidelines, we have regulations guiding here. Guidelines kill you there. Rules kill you there. Come. Is your madam aware of this thing you're doing now? Is your boss aware of this thing you're doing now? Madam, we do respect. If my madam should get to know about this, I'm in trouble because we have rules. You cannot just badge it like that and, and, and you chase away my customer like that. You shouldn't have spoken to her the way you did. That was so rude. Keep quiet before I slap your mouth backward now. Keep quiet. Rubbish. Who even wants to stay in your useless salon? Nonsense. Yeah, no, just go. Come on, keep quiet. If I hear your voice again, eh? You see this, this, this whole place that will gather for both of us. Look at Leave. You. Leave. I'm not making the hair again. I say stop talking. Who even wants to stay? Rubbish. Hey! Can you imagine? You barging into someone's shop and, and you are there shouting like a mad woman. Please, we don't need you. Let me even close this door. Hey, what is it? Who did you quarrel with? It's not that stupid hairdresser. She told me to leave her salon. Okay. And what did you tell her that made her to say so? I met your brother's wife there. Then I told her to quit pretending that I know what she and her husband are capable of doing with Uncle Tio. Then the useless girl opened her mouth. Opened her mouth to talk back at me. She raised her voice at me. Then I had to give it back to her the way she wanted it. Mm. Wonderful. So it's not all about the hairdresser after all. Both of them. But that salon is like the best salon in this town. That's why I usually style my hair and they do it real good. I think I'll have to manage this one for a while. One door. Sorry, eh? This has gone out of hand. I am telling you. I mean, look at me. Innocently greeting my co-wife, not knowing that she has been nursing animosity for me. Ebuna. Ebuna has succeeded in destroying the peace and love of this family. The love and the bond our late father built, suffered to build for years because of his selfish ambition. It's a pity. But Jane, honey, it was just the respect I had for you today. Just the respect I have for you. What I would have done to Jane. The next time she tries to sort nonsense, I will deal with her. No jokes. Uncle. 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 
The boat is it. <laughs> Take me to the family house. <laughs> Uncle, you cannot go there. We will sat the chef, the, the servant there. You can't stay there all alone. Huh? I, I, want to, I want to go and see my brother. Uncle, oh, no. <laughs> no. Let's go. Huh? It's okay. I said, take me to my brother. I want to go and see my brother. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. No. Okay. No. I'll take, I'll take you there. No. No. I hope you can hear me. That thing I told you, it has happened. That thing I told you has happened. It has happened exactly the same way I predicted it. You are supposed to come with the car. No? What are you doing? Actually, you know I don't have money. This is the only thing I can afford for now. Please, let's just go and carry one. Are you sure we can make this? Mama! Who would you bet? Mama! Wait for me, wait for me. Hello, Hi, come. come now! I'm coming! Okay. <laughs> 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 And uh, we brought her in a wheelbarrow. Uh, yes, yes. I actually pushed her on the wheelbarrow. She, my yes, brother. Uh, doctor, we are not having money to get the taxi, so we use the bike. So, why do we are wheeling her to this place? What was she doing? Uh, nothing. It, 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 yes, my nah, mama was sleeping now. Nah. She was, yes, she doctor, was she was sleeping. She was sleeping. Yes. How come you didn't notice that she was dead? No, no, nah, doctor. No, no, no. Can mama be dead now? Nah. I was the one I was pushing Mama. Why he was funny, Mama? Mama yeah, was still. Yes, yes. I was pushing her in the wheelbarrow. She was. Yes, yes, now. Mama was sick. Yeah, but she's not there. Yes, she was not there. I'm dead. sorry, I'm sorry, I met her again. Yes. Um, I need to speak with your father or any of your relatives. They should meet me in my office. Nah. No, 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 no,
Teacher, how do we bury our mother? How? Oh, there is no money. What is happening? We just lost our mother. Now. Just now? Yes, I Is that so? We don't even know what to do. Uncle, we don't know what to do because we don't even have money to deposit my mind in the mortuary. Happy when people have known about, 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 about her. Uncle, we don't even know what to do. Don't he worry. He said, please go to our kiss men. Okay. So we can put our mother immediately. I invite the kiss men immediately and the other people that is involved. Eh? Stop crying, stop crying. Uncle, please help me first. Nah, eh? Nah, one name. Why would my mother to die and leave us in this wicked world? <laughs> Papa died and left us while we are yet toddlers. And now Mama has joined him. <laughs> now what are we going to do? How do we survive? <laughs> Who is going to cook food for us? Who is going to take good care of us? <laughs> Now I'm tired already. Now let's just die and join my mom and papa because me, I don't know what else to do in this wicked world. No, Tio. Tio, don't say that. I know we don't have anyone. We don't have somebody to come out. We don't have anyone to cheer us up whenever we are angry. Wow. Why must it be us? <laughs> hey! Wow! <laughs> nah. Wow! <laughs> Why must it be us? <laughs> Why must it be this family? <laughs> nah. Now that our morning days are over, we have to move on with our lives. Just like Mama will always tell us, united we stand, divided we fall. We shouldn't let anything come in between us if we must survive in this life. Nothing should come in between us. Uh, to you? Mom. It's a wise idea. Uh, if I may suggest, is it not better for we to travel to the city to look for a better job than this our firewood business? It will not fetch us anything than feeding money. Is this is it what we are going to survive with? Now, hmm? going to the city is a nice idea. Mm -hmm. But who do we leave this house for? Uh -uh. Nah. What are you saying? Is it not to lock the door and we go to the city? Is there anybody that will take our father's house from us? It's our property now. Nothing will happen to it. Huh? Eche, going to the city is a nice option. But if both of us should go to the city, we leave this house in the hands of the villagers. Criminals will creep into this place and steal our things, hmm? including our farmland. So uh, I suggest that one of us should go to the city. Why the others stay back home? I'm afraid, uh, if I may ask, who will travel then? Who will not stay back? Nam. I will stay back while you go to the city. Yes. You stay back? Yes, I will stay back and look after this house on our farmland. Hmm? <laughs> go and survive for us. <laughs> Do you, you know I cannot now. You know I can't stay with that. You remember what Mama said now? That we should stay together. Why are you not trying to... I, I can't... Well, I'm Actually, afraid. both of us can't go to the city at the same time. Neither will both of us stay here. So better you go to the city while I stay back. No. Ha. I can't. Uh, no, I'm you need sure. to go. Survive for us. I'll be fine here. Um, yes. Based on our last discussion, okay. Are you assuring me that the company pays well? Very well. By the time Echos now we return for Christmas this year, you will not recognize him again, no. He would have become a very big boy. Very no. big guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, nah. Mm -hmm. 
please eh when you get there but the one now hmm? nah. remember what our mother always tell us hmm? the spirit of our late parents will guide you you do well there hmm? and you never got to do she and actually did you so go and explore hmm? now I trust you. I miss you very much. Well, I'm going now. You should, huh? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's my brother and I cannot live with us. Go inside. Hey, Chair. See you. We are coming. We are coming. Hurry up now. The city is far from here. Yeah. If I don't see this now, please be careful. You understand? Okay. May the spirit of our late parents guide you, be with you. Hmm? Amen. Everything you are going to do in the city, you will prosper. Amen. Hmm? I miss you, brother. Let's go, let's go. Ahana, take care of my brother for He's you. He's well, he's okay. Hi. He's, he's, don't come here. Ahana, go and get yourself a brother. Guang Guang Guang, let's go. Eche. Go, go, go. Stop crying now, just go. But, you know now, I can't stay there alone now. You can't come with us now. Now, we've, yeah. we've discussed this already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Guang Guang Guang, let's go, let's go. Now. Hey! Ah. Okay, now, I uh, see. Uh, where are my shoes? Okay, where is one of them? Now I will miss you. I miss you. Bye bye. 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 Bye I've made it, guy. Look at me. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is me, still your brother. I have made it, guy. I have made it. I told you now that I will not support you. Look at me now. No. Flesh and blood, one man. Flesh and blood. No. Look at me. <laughs> no. Come, let's go inside that suit for you. Come, oh, come, oh. come. Let's go inside for you. You will never change. No! <laughs> now, come inside. <laughs> Man. Just like you said. Now, mm -hmm. you can't believe this. God has really blessed me. Yes. Do you know that I became so exceptional in my company that everybody were jealous of me, even Anne? Eh? <laughs> you don't You don't know. <laughs> you see? My boss lost me so much. Within these three months, I was employed in that company. Ha, they promoted me three times. Three good times. Now. Guess what? Yeah. I am now the senior colleague to Anna that introduced me to the company. Is you okay? Just now. Hey! <laughs> God has done it. Well, <laughs> unless I forget, yeah. I have something for you. Okay. <laughs> this is 100,000. <000. laughs> Now, choose this, eh? And set a block. Between the end of this year, there must be a blockers in this company. I am the one saying it. God has blessed me. <laughs> you mean you own this big money? 
I even have a lot of this in my account. Eh? <laughs> that. Now, so you mean you own a bank account? Yes. The hey! The company opens an account for you once they employ you. Because uh, they pay your salary directly to the account. Hey! Uh, but now let me ask. Okay. I, I hope you are, you've not started stealing from your company. Uh, why would you say a thing like that? No, no I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Your brother is not a thief or you don't trust me again. Uh -uh. He doesn't run in our blood now. Uh -huh. We don't have any mark like that in this family. Yes. So nothing like that, no. Do you know how I managed to save money? Mm. I don't spend my salary. Uh -huh. Just now, my boss always dashes me money. Because whenever I make him laugh, he dashes me money. Every day, but you know how funny I used to no. be. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Ah, so you know. <laughs> I thank God that eh, the spirit of our late parents are with us. Indeed, mm. they are with us. I'm so happy. Indeed. Now, yeah. I'm so proud of you. You know. So now! Now! <laughs> now! Now! I'm safe. <laughs> now. Hmm? Now that you're ready to go back to the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always remember where you come from. Yeah. Always remember that you left a brother in the village to go to the city and hustle. Now, always remember that we have to build a block house in this village. You know, we always did that. May the spirit of our late parents guide you. You say. Protect you. You say. And be with you in the city. You say. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you will prosper. You say. More than your widest imagination. You say. Mm? Now. Mm? <laughs> I'll miss you. Now, Misha. <laughs> you know, I will always do my best. You know, your brother is an Ursula. Yes. This year will definitely be better than last year. Amen. Trust me. Amen. I'm an Ursula. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. I'll miss you. I'll miss you now. Miss you now. Let, let me hurry up. You know, mm. I miss my boss. <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seeing. I'll be seeing. Now! Hey! I will miss you. Now, now, now. <laughs> Take care. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll be seeing. I'll be seeing. Now! <laughs> Let me hurry up before I will miss my boss. <laughs> now! 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 Catch you later. Hi! Now! Um, now, now, since yesterday you arrived, you've not said a word to me. What is the problem? Um, now, have you been sacked? Shh, the world has ears. Now, you should confide in me. I'm your brother. Because the look on your face is scaring me. What is the problem? I'm sorry, I did not tell you about Ifunaya. Ifunaya? Yes. So who is Ifunaya? Oh, Ifunaya. She, she, she works in our company. Okay. I like her and she likes me too until... Until she... She... She is pregnant she, for you. Yes, exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem. I told her to... To her put the child, but she refused. She says she wants to keep it. Not that we are we are not yet done with the building. Yeah? No. no, abortion is not the right option here. You are old enough to marry. Now you're old enough to be a father. There's no point in telling her to abort the pregnancy. Hmm? Since you both like each other, work in the same company, you are earning a salary, she's earning a salary, so there's no need. How do you hmm? mean? Now, you just have to marry her. Does it mean I will marry before you? No, now, you check it now. Now, yeah. there is no law that states that the first son must marry before the second son. Hmm? Only Diego, one naya, Maburo Diop Maraburo. The only difference here is that I came out before you. When the eyes of God, we are equal. Hmm? So cheer up. Not again, not again. Now. Cheer up. No, not again. Nah. Check it now. Eh? No. There's no. 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 I've been watching you closely these days. You don't look happy. 
there's a lot of rumor outside. People have been telling me things that I don't know about you. Tell me. Is there anything you are hiding from me? Ever since I got married, my son is one year old now. You're not yet married. Whenever I talk about marriage, you always sweep it under the carpet. Now, I am your only brother. The holy brother you have in this whole wide world. Trust me, we can share it together. Is there anything you are not telling me? Please tell me. Now, I am not a complete man like you. I have never had an erection in my entire life. And the doctor said it will only take a miracle for me to have an erection. I don't understand. Were you born like that? No, something happened when you were a toddler. You were barely 14 months old. <laughs> And I was five years old. According to Mama, you were crawling into a pot of soup on fire. I saw you and rushed to save you. In my haste, I couldn't see the axe by the corner. It fell on my manhood. I was happy that I was able to save you from falling inside the fire. But the bleeding continued. I was rushed to the hospital. The doctor performed some surgery on me. The bleeding stopped, stopped. But some organs were damaged. The doctor said I cannot have an erection. I became less of a man. You mean, you went through all this because of me? You mean... All this happened just because of the love you had for me? Now... I'm not regretting any bit of it. I'm not regretting anything. Yes, at least something can be done. You can... You can get married and... stay allowed to have mates outside. The most important thing is that... you will have a son, somebody to call your own. It, both of you can still understand and move on with your life. Please. Now... Eh? You, you have a very nice idea, but the highest form of deception is self-deception. I cannot frustrate someone's daughter in the name of marriage. I cannot raise bastards in my home in the name of marriage. Everybody must not marry. Now, at the end, now this together, what the hell? Now. Now, man. But who would have believed that a mansion like this can stand in this company? 
from three bedroom bungalow to a big mansion like this. Who would have believed that I would have become the owner of a company I didn't know when it started? Who would have believed that I would become the owner of a company I worked as a factory boy? God is great. But remember, mother told us that where there is love, there is progress. Where there is unity, there is prosperity. So I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. But come, my brother, I wish my children, my two sons, can emulate our lifestyle. I wish so. Come, let's go and sit. Hi. Do you know what is rotate from family to family? In every 60 years, I remember my father Okoro once told me, you were so little then, okay. that when I grew up, that do you know who office will come to our family? Really? Yes. I never believed it until yesterday when he called me. You know, the death of the present to know yes. has created a vacuum. So it is our family that will now produce Ono and it will remain in our family for 60 years. Wow. Well, that is good. You are the first son. So it is your right. I know it is my right, but... But what now? But what? I want you to take up that office. Yes, you already have a son who will take over from you in the event of your demise. So, I want you to take it up so that your new office will remain in our family for a period of 60 years. But my brother, you already sacrificed your manhood for me. And now you want to sacrifice your, your birthright too? When am I ever going to be able to pay you for all these good things you've done for me in my lifetime? Ah, two of us are one. It's the blood flowing in me. It's the blood flowing in you. True. At the end, blood is thicker than water. No. <laughs> no. No. I understand. Living in my house with my wife and children is trying to destroy the love and bond that we share. Our people say that brotherhood will last longer if brothers visit each other rather than stay together. This is your house. You have a chef, a gatekeeper, and a servant. And all this cost is embedded in the company's payroll. I'm doing this to save our love and unity. No. No. In as much as I appreciate this house and other things you've been doing for me, I am bothered. The love we share was not transferred to your children, mm. especially your first son. Ebuna. I'm afraid 
Should anything happen to you, God forbid. Your first son, Ebuna, will throw me out of this house. Now, listen, nothing's going to happen to me. And I've been trying my best to let my children know that I owe you everything I represent today in life. My wife should be the wife you never had. And my children should be the children you never had because of me. And because of the love to save me from death and harm. I so wish your children will follow in your footsteps, especially your first son, Ebuna. I so wish you. No, he will. He has no choice. Your children have destroyed everything we worked together. Your first son has driven me out of the house you built for me. Exactly the same way I predicted it. Oh, I feel empty. I now feel a vacuum. A vacuum without a wife. A vacuum without children. <laughs> I don't feel like a vacuum without children. A vacuum you created in my life. They did not feel it. I don't feel like living anymore. Life is meaningless to me. I want to join you. I want to join you and end all this. I want to join you. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you sure the step we took is not aiding to our downfall? What do you mean by that? Now that your uncle too is living with your younger brother and you know his aim has always been to take away your birthright and hand it over to your brother. Don't you think them living together is bringing them closer and will make them achieve their purpose faster? No matter how they try, they will never take what belongs to me. I shall replace my father as the next owner of this kingdom, next to the king. Then, I shall see who dares stand on my way. Today, I hand you over this mantle of leadership as the new owner of our kingdom. Hereby, Igwe, please don't do that. He is the rightful owner of the throne. Igwe, Igwe, do not mind this evil man. I am the first son of my father, and I'm the rightful owner of this position. I deserve this position, Igwe. Nah, uh, nah, ma. Igwe, I am the only surviving son of the family. I can tell you authoritatively, he is the person, today is the person Igwe, not him. What, what is going on here? But everyone knows that he is the first son of our late Ono Echezona. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth, the whole truth. Ndode is the person. Don't okay. mind him. Okay, as the only surviving son of that family, 
What do you want me to do now? He will give you to today. Don't mind this person. No, that, that's not true. Mm. Let the problem of your family never ignite our kingdom. Can you have a good day? Igwe No! No! no. Igwe, this, this, this cannot be! Igwe. I will not kill myself for your family. Igwe, this, I'm okay. This is not right. Igwe, it's not right. No! No. Honey, what is it? Same dream? Same message. This time it was precise. Huh? What is this? My uncle deceived the Igwe from giving me the Onowu's staff of office into giving it to my brother. No! No! Oh God. Baby, you see what I've been telling you? See what I've been telling you? Now that these people are together, they will now have every opportunity to plan together in order to achieve their evil desires. Why would my uncle bent on wanting to sell my birthright? Eh? What have I done to him? What? Some people are naturally wicked. Your uncle is a sadist. And the sadist will always hate you for no just cause. Look at them, planning on how to disinherit you. But I will not fold my hands. We are not going to fold our hands and allow it to work. No! What it's not going to happen. What other step do I take now? What other step do I take? Because if I allow them, they are going to carry out their intentions. What other step do I take? Yeah, you have a sleepless night over nothing. These are your imaginations. Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall and getting hurt. Is there any problem? Indeed, there is a problem. There is a problem. Okay. What is it? The problem is you and Uncle Theo. I hope you're not out of your mind. Indeed, you're the one out of your mind here. How can you be a party to evil? How can you not shun evil but walk hand in hand with evil? What evil are you talking about? The one you're staying with here. The one both of you are re-strategizing on. But let me tell you, I do not know only your practical steps. But I also know too much to be ridiculed with by mere mortal like you and Uncle Theo. Anyway now, what has come over you? No, for real. Have, have you lost it? Yes. You are the evil. You have suddenly forgotten the promises we made to Father on his sickbed. Instead, you unleashed wickedness on our uncle. His only brother. His only brother he loved so much. Ibuna, you are the evil that has aroused in this one's peace and loving family. And that evil needs to be tamed. Mind the words you speak to me. And you dare, you dare not tell me how to talk in my own house. This is not father's wealth, you know. I suffer to make this money and build this house. Not some, not some muggle that goes around looking for father's property to jump on. I'm out for both of you. <laughs> Get out. And I'll be back. Get out. Just wait for me. I said, get out! Magau! Imagine! What was that all about? I heard voices. Isn't it, 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 isn
coming to accuse, accuse me that no, 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 my uncle and I are, pl are planning evil against him. What kind of nonsense accusation is that? Hey, honey, you need to calm down. You guys don't need to raise voices. I mean, look at this. It's getting out of hand already. You need to curtail this before it gets out of hand. Which one is I need to curtail the, the, the way we are? Is, is, is it my fault? You're meant to tell Ebuna that, not, not me. Okay. Listen to me. You guys need to calm down. It's barely a month you buried your father. Shouting won't solve anything. You just need to sit and talk about this, please. It's not sit and talk about it. It's meant to be Ebuna. Because I do not have a problem. Okay, fine. But you know what? Calm down. Just have a seat. You're all worked up. See what you do here. Yeah? I'll talk to Boy if here. Okay, okay. All right, then tell him then. I'll call you back. All right. Okay, bye. Good afternoon, Uncle. I had voices. <laughs> Isn't all Ebu now? Ebu now came here to insult himself. What has he come to do? Uncle, please just forget about Ebuna. Okay, just ignore him. I'm even tired of talking about him. Maybe the truth is haunting him. What truth? I'm a man of honor. Give my words. My word is my bond. Which one is word and bond? I'm an old man. The grey hair is starting all over my head. It's not for fancy. If I cannot stimulate your brain to think and articulate fast with my word, then this grey hair is nothing but a number. Uncle, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Man is not what he eats, but what he knows and what he knows not. It's not me that will run mad this hot afternoon, eh? Come inside and eat first, oh? told him his secrets. Obviously, he should react. He was pretending not to know what I was talking about. But I knew that he knows what I was talking about. Do you expect him to accept his evil deed? Do you? No, I don't. And that was why I was telling him to his face. But he keeps denying it. <sighs> My darling, you've done a great deal today. I'm so proud of you. At least now they know that you know what they are planning to do. I'm thinking of the next line of action to take. And I think I need to get Igwe involved in this. No. Not so fast. Baby, you have to hold on. At least you have enough evidence on them. So that if you're pulling them down, you pull them down completely. See, babe, less than two more months now, I am going to become the next Uno of this kingdom. And with my position, nobody will tell them what will become of me. Two months time is a long time. Baby, they are after you. They are after that position. If you don't fight now, who told you you're going to be alive till the next two months? It's best you fight now. Yes. Hmm. Why? Why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? 
Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your... Your Highness, as the first son of late Ono Uwechezo now, I've come to ask, when am I taking over from where my father stopped at? The tradition has given the family the right to uphold the Onuwu's mantle for the next two generations. The chief priest is aware of your late father's death. You know, in this kingdom, we have stipulated order. I don't even know why the chief priest has not come up to do the needful. Your Majesty, I do not understand. Yes. When Onuwu or any member of this cabinet dies. As long as the death of that person is officially reported to this palace, the chief priest will now come up and uh, fix a date for the rituals. It is the same chief priest that will now know if that family is capable of handling the post again or not. If that family is not capable to handle the post, the chief priest will appoint a new family. That's it. Your Majesty, I know that the, the office of Ono stays with a particular family. For 60 years before it's taken away from them. And my father was the first to take it up in my family before his death. And I also know that after the death of the working Onowu, the next person takes over after three months. And Your Majesty, it's been over three months I buried my father. And nothing has been said or heard about this whole thing. You know all these things, but you fail to know that even I as a wake, who is aware that it is your right? And it's now after three months, as you said. I don't have the right to hand you over the scepter to become Uno. It is the right of one man, and that man is the chief priest. Yes, that's the tradition. Answers are not straight. Why are they withholding my birthright? Why are they stopping my destiny? No body bomb of a woman can stop me from getting my destiny. I'm like a viper Where I come from, a nose office is an appointed office. If he dies, the ego appoints another capable hand from the elders to take over. It's been like that all over the places. But ours is different. The Onu's office is sacred and monarchical, just like the Igwe's office. For a period of years, to a particular family, then goes to the next family after a period of years. No one is disputing that. <coughs> I know that already. Then why are they not being transparent with you? Knowing it's your birthright. 
I think they may be working with my uncle to take away my birthright and give it to my younger brother. That's exactly the same thing you've been seeing in your dream. Yes. But they can't wait. What exactly did he say? That the chief priest did this? The chief priest did that? They're not just making sense. Then you have to meet with the chief priest. Exactly what's on my mind. It's funny, my dear. It's so funny. I'm so tired. What brings you to this sacred place today? The wise one. My name is Ebuna. The first son of Onowu Eches Nokoro. Wise one, I've come to inquire from the gods why the sceptre of Ono has not been given to me to continue from where my father stopped, as the tradition of this kingdom demands. When the son of the dead Unowu comes to the palace to report the death of his father, the gods of our land take notice and put everything in place. But in the case of Onowu Echezona, no one came to the palace to report. The gods are still waiting, and that is what is holding everything down. Where's one? I did exactly that. I went to the palace to, to, to report my father's death to the, to, to the Igwe, and I even returned the scepter to the palace. Because my father told me all that, and I know all that too. Are you saying the gods are lying? Uh, no, I did not say that. I did not say that the gods are lying. Neither am I lying. Wise one, I went to the palace to drop the message of my father's death. And I actually dropped the scepter too. It was so when I did all that, he can attest to it. You better leave this place now before you incur the wrath of the gods. I am sure of what I am saying. Now, leave. Leave! Leave! What is happening? Someone is playing the fast one on me. Whoever the person is, I must fish him or her out today. How can the chief priest say that I did not come to inform the king about my late father's death? How? Who is he working for? Uncle Tio, if this is truly your handbook, then prepare for the worst. I am going back to the palace. The Igwe must bear me witness. For I did what I was supposed to do at the death of my father. For it is my right As me and no one else I will never let anybody to take away my right What belongs to me? Won't anybody who lets with my bed right? I will go sleep. I will go. Anybody who lets.
not even that. Uh, for me, I think the best thing is to just yes. leave everybody to be honest. <laughs> Where is Digo presently? He should be in Izobi. Is he with someone? No, they just left. Okay, please tell him I want to see him. Welcome, sir. Please, sir, you can come with me to the garden so I can offer you something before the king joins you. Um, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? Long live the king. What? No son is here. Tell him that I don't want to see anyone now. I am highly exhausted. Yes, your highness. Let me not die serving people. Let me go upstairs and rest. Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall and getting out. Okay. Sorry, he said he cannot see you now. What? That is what he said. He needs rest. Did you tell him who came? I told him it was you. Late Onowu's son. It's happening. Hey, who is after my bed The chief priest said that none of the Onowu's sons came to report Onowu's death. I told him I did. He walked me out of the shrine. This is serious. <laughs> then I went back to the palace to tell the Igbo what the chief priest did. At least he can bear me witness that I came to report my father's death. Guess what I saw? What? I saw Uncle Tio and Dodi coming out of the palace. They were just laughing and laughing and laughing Why they want to enter the car. What did they go there to do? That's my question. Suddenly, we started talking from both sides of his mouth. Do you understand? And the chief priest denied that he not come to the, to the palace to report my father's death. And even Digo refused to see me. He didn't see you. Not at all. Not at all. First time in the history, Igwe told the guards to tell me that he cannot see me. 
first in history. Even the blind can see the handwriting on the wall. It's becoming clearer. Baby, it's obvious these people are playing a fast one on you. They are trying to play a fast one on you. And my question is why? I still ask why? What are they going to gain from this? From this act of wickedness? What are they going to gain? What? Baby, just don't relent, okay? Oh. You need to be strong and fight. You have to fight until your enemies go into hiding. You have to fight. Yes. You have to fight. You're my lion. You have to fight. Where's Uncle Tio's room? Uh, Uncle Tio, he is not staying in this uh, place again. If you lie to me, what I'll do to you is sell my if and make it back. Where's Uncle Tio's room? I, I can't lie to you, Olga. He's no longer staying here. I saw him with my brother at the palace yesterday and you're telling me that they don't longer stay here. What do you mean by that? Huh? Olga, okay, you can check at the voice cutter yourself. I you... Actually, again, where is Uncle Tio's room? It's baby Where's his room? Hey, hey, oh, 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 uh, hey, uh, if I hear your voice here, eh, you won't give up to what I believe you. Go and check yourself. I say it's not here. You are Okay. I've come to ask you. What you went to the palace to do yesterday with Uncle Kyo? What kind of question is that? Answer my question. <laughs> and why should I answer that stupid question? You called my question stupid? Of course, it's a very stupid question. You said we ask him, you know reason I'm? Why are you asking me what I went to do in the palace yesterday? Like, like I'm your maid. I'll be willy willy, your, your pet dog. Do you know why I asked? No, whatever reason it is, just keep it to yourself. I don't care. Why are you asking me what I went to do in the palace? Did I ask you what you went to do in the palace yesterday? Or were you not there to see the king? Listen and listen carefully. Whatever you people are planning, Whatever it is that you're planning, you're going to fail. Do you understand? Because whoever that tries to deprive me of my birthright will not succeed. And I will not watch that happen. Do you get that? Wait. Is this what this is all about? Eh? Ibuna, Imani, Iweli fellow. No, are you not ashamed of yourself? Did you just hear what you just said now? Which bet right? You know, it's only a madman that fights a war he created by himself. For himself. And against himself. Who is after your bet right? Me. After your bet right. Eh? Look, let me tell you one minute. With or without father's wealth, I'm still balling. I'm still doing very well. Even if you cease everything to yourself, I don't care. Again, I'm now, I don't care. Even if I'm giving that Onowu's title for free, I will still dash it to you. Because I don't need it. Hey. Are you not ashamed of yourself? What? So all this your nonsense attitude is, is because of... Watch your tongue. Now I walk around. At all. I said you walk around. Don't, 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 don't tell me nonsense. Watch your thoughts. Now you waste my girl. girl. Can you imagine? Bet right. Bet right. Hey, my name is Fele. Shame on you. Hey. Shame on you. Watch your tongue. My girl. Watch. If actually he's not interested in being the Ono, what then is the meaning of the dream I see every day? Why is the king alongside the chief priest playing games on me? What is actually going on? For God's sake, don't 
How will you believe what your brother said? Why wouldn't I believe him? Oh my God. I know I married a smart man and not a dumb fool. Don't make me feel otherwise. No, no, no. Where exactly are you driving listen, at? Listen, listen. Your brother will not let you know he's doing an underground work against you. He will want to make you feel that he's not interested in the no title or your late father's wealth. Just so he removes your mind from what you're planning to do and then he will attack you. Oh. You have a point. Yes, I have a point. He is now aware that you know what they know. So he's trying to make you remove your mind from there so that he's going to attack you. Then why would he want to be so greedy as to want to take me? Will you stop asking me stupid questions and ask? Position. Okay, how do you want to act? What kind of action do I take? My husband, in situations like this, okay. you don't need to wait for them to act first. You launch the first attack. Yes, else you're going to take the first blow and I'm not going to sit here and watch it happen. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, this is Mrs. Ebuna. Nipio, please. I need your boys to come meet me where I am right now. And he just, just assaulted me. She almost killed me. Please, please, just send your boys. Yes. I'm at Good News Plaza, the one by the Express. Any problem? Hey, Mr. Man, where is your madam? Uh, my madam is upstairs. Now go and tell her that some policemen are here to see her. Fast! Auntie Jen, do you have quarrel with me? Are you deaf? Will you go inside and call your madam? Need to hear them. Come on, go inside and call her. Jen is outside with some policemen. They say they want to see you. Policemen? Yes. Do you have quarrel with them? <laughs> so she actually called the police on me. It's okay. Go out. Tell them I'm coming. Okay, ma'am. Anything else? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, let me tell them that you are coming. Very well then.
You know what? Let's go inside. I know my way. Come. She's coming. She she's coming. Okay. Wait, she's coming. Here she is. So the Nigerian police has been your backbone the whole time. What are you waiting for? Arrest her! Madam, you're under arrest. For assault and attempted murder. You... you don't have to stress yourself, officer. Save the sermon. I will go with you to the station. Because my lawyer is on his way already. Follow me. Move it. Move this woman, Sergeant. I will call you back. I'm rushing to the police station now. Police station? What happened? A Buna's wife called police for my wife. She got my wife arrested. What? Yes. Let, let me call you back, okay? So I can concentrate. Hi. Okay, dear. Eh? Please, don't forget to call me when you are done. Eh? Okay, my dear. Alright, bye. Ebuna. 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 At the end. Know himself to me. You'll be coming to the station anytime your attention is being needed. That's not a problem, Barrister. What exactly happened? Please, let's just talk about this when we get home. I'm tired. Please. Um, my friend, um, this is a family matter. And I believe we'll handle it maturely. So Jen followed you up to the car to fight you? I am telling you. I dealt with her. I taught her the lesson of her life. <laughs> this nonsense has to stop. I have to do something about it. It's getting out of hand. Anyway, I wouldn't want you to bother your pretty head. Like I said earlier, I dealt with her seriously. Just let it slide. You know the problem? They are yet to realize that they are losers. <laughs> but woe unto them. They will continue to be losers. Look at Jane. Jane. It is our privilege to see the next owner of this kingdom pay me a visit. Thank you, my elder. You know, our people say that when a woman is running and holding her breath. Then, nothing is after her. Maybe she's running for nothing. But when she's running and leaving her breast bare, either she's after something or something is after her. You are a true son of your father. Thank you. My father told me that the owner whose ship remains in our family for the next two generations. And I shall be made the next owner of this kingdom after him. Then unto my son, when I'm no more. Again, you are a true son of your father. My father told me that I shall return the owner who's kept her and the news of his death to the palace. All after three months, that I shall be made the next owner of this kingdom. That is our culture and tradition. Okay, my elder. 
is almost three months now. And I did all that that my father told me. Returning the scepter and sending the news of my father's death to the palace. I don't know what is holding them from making me the next Uno of this kingdom. Is it that? The Baba doesn't know how to bow or the Kota is not sharp. So I came to confirm from you as one of the elders on in council to know what is going on. That is right, my son. When a child desires what rightfully belongs to him, it can no longer be seen as a taboo. I shall take your message to the palace and to this effect, summon the elders a council and make sure I get back to you within the shortest space of time. It is okay, my elder. Thank you so much. I will appreciate if you do that for me. I shall do that myself. Thank you so much, my elder. I will take my leave now. But before I leave, I want you to have this. Hmm? Hmm? For me? That yellow moss and eat them at night. God bless you, my son. Save Johnny. He shall be well with you. Igwe. May your days be longer than your forefathers. It shall be well with you. Says. Igwe. It is no longer news that the office of the Onowu of this kingdom has been vacant since the death of our last Onowu, Onowu Echezona Okoro. And according to our tradition, three months after the death of an Onowu, and if it is still in the power of the family to present the next Onowu, the first son of the Onowu should be made to take over from where his father stopped. Mom. You have spoken very well, Ichi. You are the true son of your father, Ichi. <laughs> ah. hmm. Since the office of the Onowu has not left the last family of the Onowu, and it has been more than three months since his burial, why haven't the first son taken over from where his father stopped? Your question is in order. But don't be too fast to forget that it is not the king, but the chief priest. It is the chief priest that has the powers to such ordinances, not the king. Since the chief priest is not doing anything about it, and it behoves on the Igwe to ask questions because we cannot keep on waiting for the chief priest. You are very right. Yes. Yes. In that case, we have to send messages across to the chief priest for him to join us here in three days time for the next meeting. The meeting went well. Everybody accepted the fact that the time is long overdue. So, the Igwe is someone of the chief priest to be a part of our next meeting so that he could explain to us why he has been delaying the handing of our process. And when is the next meeting? Three days from today. Okay. I really do appreciate. I, I'll come home again to know the outcome of the meeting. So bad, okay. Thank you so much. Eh? Right. Send me your account number. I will. Yeah. Go away, my son. Did you tell Ishe that you've met with the chief priest before? Do I look stupid in your eyes? I did not tell him anything. <sighs> That's good. It's better the way the Igwe summoned him before all the elders. Let him say before the Igwe that none of us brought the news. And let's see what Igwe will tell him. It's time to expose them. Now we'll find out all they've been planning behind our back. And we'll expose them. You see, this step of going to Akrika was timely. <laughs> you see, if you hadn't listened to me, 
you would still be here Why your younger brother gets crowned the Onowu. The gods will never allow that wickedness. They will never. They will never. It's all right, baby. Let me go serve your dinner. Okay. When it is happening, who is after my bad Hey, but tell me about you, let my bad I'll be crossing, I'll be crossing. Food. I'm not bothered about the food. I'm bothered about the truth. What truth? Your older brother threw me out of the house my brother bought for me. He practically started fighting me for no just cause. Now he is spreading lies, falsehood about me that I'm trying to take away his bed right. It's okay, Uncle. At least he doesn't know where you stay now. He couldn't reach for a physical fight. That was why he resorted to spreading false information about you. Oh. oh. I'm only bothered that people will get to know the truth soon. Oh. I don't care. Uncle, let him know. Okay? They need to know how he's been treating you since the death of your brother. Let them know the truth. He's the one treating you bad. Is it because you've not gone, go, gone to, to, to get a tank cry to tell everyone what, what he's been doing to you? Call your husband now. What is it again? Just do as I said. Last night, as soon as I left you. Okay, and he said what? He said that I should come to the palace for an important discussion this morning. Are you scared of anything? Take me to the palace. Okay, let me give you something.
tell his majesty that we are here. He is out already. Is he with someone? No, sir. Uh, at the moment, let's go. Why didn't you come to inform me? He, were, uh, he decided to let the sleeping dog lie. No, that was wrong. It's not the right thing for you to have done. That house belongs to you. He has no right whatsoever to take away the house your brother built for you. Everybody knows the bond between you and your brother. And that bond is on the lips of everybody in this kingdom. Is this the way he's going to take over from his father as the owner of this kingdom? Exactly my thought. Igwe, I decided to let him be. He is now the new landlord. Lies. These are blunted lies, Theophilus. As far as I'm concerned, that house still belongs to you. I will make sure that you goes back to your house. I will use everything within my power to ensure that everything he has taken away from you is being restored. If he fails to take my orders or my instruction, hmm, I will ostracize him from this kingdom. And that right he's looking for will be taken away from him and be given to another person. What nonsense. And I'm even giving him a listening ears. What an insolence. Pico, Pico, let your anger subside. Zephlos, my anger will never subside until I see you going back to that house, possessing your possession, until I see or hear from the news that your name has been restored back to the company's payroll. If not, oh, I will use every blood in me to fight him. Nonsense. You bet on fighting someone Someone who's not fighting back Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations Why bring you to reality? I'm fighting the air, punching the wall and getting hot You did not even wait for me to get home before you got here. Yeah, I heard your voice on the phone, you know, calling me to come over. I hope all is well. All is not well. What is the problem? The Igwe is very, very upset with you. The Igwe? Yes. What have I done? I wouldn't know. I went to the palace. As I was about to enter the palace, I saw your brother and your uncle leave the palace. And I heard Igwe threatening hell on someone. When I inquired of the people around what the problem was, they mentioned your name. And I became very weak. 
I know all the practical steps they are trying to take. Okay, I know that my uncle... They're working tirelessly to deprive me from my birthright and give it to my younger brother. Even last night, I saw it in my dream. They're working tirelessly to achieve their evil desire. He wants to give the honor to my younger brother. Why will Theophilus do a thing like that? They have been going to see the king at my back. They have been planning on this for a very long time. But the more they plan, the more I see it in my dreams. But let me tell you something. I will not allow anybody to deprive me from my birthright. Not even the Igwe. Nobody. That will be very bad if the Igwe decides to join them to do such evil. Anyway, one thing is certain. The gods are watching. Yes, they are. Anyway, tomorrow is the D-Day. We shall all hear from the mouths of the gods. Okay, chief. It's alright, let me get you something. It's okay. I told you. I told you. Someone that's wicked do not need you to do anything wrong to him before he unleashes his anger on you. I told you. If I knew, I wouldn't have spared Uncle Tio. Okay. I would have taken his life. I would have taken his life. What evil have I done to him? What evil have I done to Uncle Theo to deserve this? He has succeeded in gaining the king's heart against me. So that they will do that which they planned to do, but they will not succeed. They will never succeed. They will never ever succeed. I, Ebuna, the first son of Ono Echesna, shall be the Ono of this kingdom. Wow. And if anyone dares to stand on my way, I am going to crush that person. I am going to crush that person. Good. Be it the king or anybody. I, Echisna, will crush that person. I mean, I, I am going to crush that person. Now you're talking. Be ready to crush. I mean, I am going to crush. I crush that person. We all know why we are here. But while waiting for the arrival of the chief priest, there is something that is bothering my mind. And I want to say it out here. You go on. This boy that came here asking me to give him the mantle of no worship for him to start from where his late father stopped. That same boy went ahead causing problems here and there. He chased uh, Theophilus, the most beloved late father's brother, out of the house which his, his uh, brother let Ono who built for him. He did not stop at that. He seized all the vehicles that the man was driving. He removed his name from the company's payroll. And yet, this is the person that wants to be our new Ono. Instead of him following his father's footsteps, He's causing problem here and there. If I may suggest, I want to say that anything concerning the confirmation of Ono worship be suspended until he 
do the right thing. That is my suggestion. Igwe, may you live long. Bro. Igwe, in my own opinion, I would say that decisions taken in a hurry have never been the best in the history of Malkin. Since we have already sent for the chief priest to come tell us why he has been delaying the handover process, I suggest we hear from him. Let us tackle that issue first when it is time to do the handover process proper. We will now tackle this issue and that of his uncle. Yeah, that's a wise talk, Ichi. That's a wise talk. It's okay. It's okay if not, I'm annoyed with that boy. I am annoyed. Greetings, custodian of truth and love. Peacekeeper of our great kingdom. I greet you. Igwe Oburuburu one of Amozara kingdom. Greetings from the gods of this land. Wise one, you are highly welcome. Without wasting further time, we all know that it's over three months now already that our Onoho died and was buried. And the tradition handed over to us by our ancestors demands that after three moons of the death of Uno, a new one will come up to replace him. And this will be the portion of his first son. Chief Priest, since then, we've been waiting on you to come up and tell us what should be done as regarding this. But nothing comes from you. you. You kept quiet. And that is why we called on you to know why. But none of his sons has brought the news of the death of the Ono to this palace. The scepter is still with them. Wise one. His first son came here breaking the news of his late father's death to me. And he came with the scepter. Your Majesty, the gods are saying otherwise. None of his family members has brought the news of the death of the Onohu. Until they do the need for, the office of the Onohu remains vacant. One. From what you have said, it, does it mean that uh, Ebuna is not uh, our late Onowo's first son? Because he's the one that came here breaking the, the news to me and he came with a scepter as I said before. The late Onowo has a brother. It is him, only him, that has answers to what you seek. There is confusion here. Fellow Ichis, the great king of the land, I greet you. This is very, very complicated. But then, how do we now find out the truth? Hmm. Igwe, without wasting our time, 
I suggest we invite a priest from another kingdom. But the chief priest already told us how. What do you mean? I am confused. See, it's not as if I am doubting what the chief priest said. But you and I knows that the first son of our little Novo is Ebuna. Ebuna. Yes. Uh, anyway, to, to cut this story short, we have to involve the family members. To sort it out. out. You have spoken. That this is what we are going to do. This is what we are going to do. The Igwe is in order. If truly that boy is not Onowu's girl, he can never be the next Onowu. And who is talking about being the next Onowu? If the boy is truly not Onowu's blood, he cannot stay in this kingdom. That's correct. Because our customs and tradition forbids us from keeping on another man's son. His origin must be traced and sent back to his real father. Failure to do so, a great calamity. We before this land. No, 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 no. We cannot afford to No, we can't take that. We won't accept that. No, we can't accept that, please. There's time for everything. Eche, what is going on? You're not talking to me. This story is not a good one at all. What is going on, Eche? I hope you've not joined them to deprive me of my birthright. What birthright are you even talking about? What is going on here? The Igwe has summoned you, your brother and your uncle, to our next meeting, which comes up in three days' time. And what did the chief priest say? It is better you hear it from the horse's mouth on that day. I would suggest you go home and wait patiently because three days is just around the corner. So you go home and have a rest. I suspect a foul play. This is for Bagogi overhead. They have played the ball against your head and you're just here doing nothing. What are you insinuating? Baby, these people have been bribed. Your brother and your uncle have bribed everyone. The same way they bribed the Igwe and the chief priest and they took away your birthright. Baby, you're about to lose in this battle. The truth shall prevail. The truth shall prevail. If they're trying to gang up against me, to rob me of my birthright, I am going to fight them with everything in me. And the offer in my father's house will fight for me. At the end of the day, I shall be victorious. No man born of a woman shall take away my birthright. Never. Never! It will never happen. Why would the king want to see you all? <laughs> what else is now what Ebuna told him? Ebuna told him that we are planning to collect his birthright. Oh, Chiregodo. So it was even Ebuna that reported you to the king? Mm hmm. His unguided quest for power and, and, and wealth is making him do stupid things. Unfortunately, he has planned his downfall. That birthright he seeks after will be freely given to him. But I do hope he will appreciate his true birthright. I really hope so. It's happening. Hey. We'll see the king now. Is he going to? We are about to see the king. Oh, my God. 
Theophilus, we called you here for a purpose. The chief priest said that there is something you know about your late brother's son that we don't know. He said, if you fail to let us know about it, it will spell doom to this kingdom. No! No! I'm so sorry I couldn't keep to my way. The arrogance and disobedience of your foster son have forced me to reveal the truth, the dark truth. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I couldn't keep the secret any longer. The way you kept mine till you died. No. You can't continue like this. It's three days now that she died. You have to put yourself together and plan for her burial. She is dead means that she is dead. There is nothing you will do that will bring her back to life. I'm not bothered about her death anymore. Then what is bothering you now? The truth she told me before she died. What truth? If Naya deceived me for 20 years of my life with her. What exactly are you talking about? My brother, I'm just coming from the hospital. Where I went for a DNA test to confirm what she told me. And the result was in the affirmative. DNA test. And what did they say? Ebuna is not my son. He is my colleague's son, Ebuka son. You remembered when I was working with my boss and one afternoon I came back home and told you that a girl was pregnant for me? Yes, I, I, I do. She lied. I was not responsible for her pregnancy. My colleague Ebuka was. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what to do. Should I send the boy away? Or should I continue living with him? Pretending to be his father when I already know the truth? To tell you the truth, this is a very delicate matter. We will not need to rush into taking decision on this. We we'll just take our time and think out a solution. See, brother, I am confused, totally confused. Anyway, just give me three days. Hmm? Give me three days, let me come up with a solution. As long as that boy is concerned, 
He is your son. And you remain his father. The same way Ndu was born. And you were told that you are his father and you believed it. If if Nanya had not revealed the truth to you, you will still be calling that boy Ebuna, your son. You are very right. Can we keep this secret to ourselves? The same way if Nanya hid it from you for years. You will still be calling him son and he will be calling you father. Don't we? Yes, we can. If you can keep the secret to yourself and promise not to tell anyone someday, I give you my word. With the love and bond we shared since bed, your little secret remains mine. Disobedience of your foster son. Please forgive me. Forgive me. His pride and arrogance led to this. They're begging you, no queen. They ask you to stop. Right now, we hope you're not gonna. If you leave for culture, turn everything. They beg you, no queen. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. If you go, something is still bothering me. What is it again? Brother, now that I'm the owner of this kingdom, it is the tradition. That when I pass on, my first son will have to bring the news to the palace of my demise and also bring this gift. After which the chief priest will arrange the handover to my son three months after burial. Now, who will take the news of my demise to the king? Your first son, of course. It's your first son that will uh, take over the title of Olu in the event of your personal away. You don't seem to get it, do you? Maybe I don't. This is a secret ritual. It is only so the true son of the Olu. I mean, it's true blood that can perform that ritual. And if the true blood does not do it, it will not be recognized by the gods. And don't forget, this is arranged by the gods to ensure that no one steals the office of the Uno or is able to buy it. Okay. Okay. I now get you. So what do we do in this situation? I now get you. Okay. Okay. It is only true son of Uno. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That can take the message to the uh, 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 palace. Yes. And the gods will recognize it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't see any trouble in it. How do you mean? It's very simple. The law mm. did not say it is one of Ono Wu's son that will go. Since the Lord did not say it is one of Ono Wu's son, two of them can go to the palace. Hmm. Once Ono Wu's true blood is present, the gods will recognize it. And then the process starts. There's no problem. And you mean that after three months, the first son cannot be made Ono Wu? Exactly. <laughs> now, you are a genius. <laughs> The gods have really blessed you with wisdom. Yes. Lord, you stick to that.
Kata. <laughs> Right now, we hope you don't go now. If only for God, you turn everything. They beg you, no queen. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. If only for you, no know. Listen to me. When I told you not to go to the palace with that your younger brother, probably this secret would have remained secret. But you are But your pride and arrogance led to your downfall. You are the architect of your own misfortune, Ebuna. You are not our blood. You are not even the son of late Ono. And you had the guts to let out this evil on your late father's brother. You sent him packing from the house that was not built by your own father. You also removed his name from the company's payroll. A company that was not built by you. Oh, what kind of a man are you? Tell me. See, let me tell you. We are going to strip off everything that our brother has that is in your possession. You are wicked. And this is the day of your doom. Sorry, I am so sorry, Nichi. Please, no, 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 Yes, you are wicked and heartless. Mm. I, Igwe of this kingdom, have spoken. Mm -hmm. That's right. you to stop. Right now, we hope you don't go now. If you leave for God to turn it. Oh my God, you say, Satan. Quinson. Satan, I call you Quinson. Even have you seen it? Have you seen what stubbornness can cause? If you had listened to him, this whole thing wouldn't have cropped up. You, you think I'm happy with this news? No, you think I'm happy. And I'm going to in a giri, in a co. Now see. What kind of news is this one, Bikon? You can see it. Oh, 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 can can see I want you to help me to do something. Please. I beg you with everything in me. Please. 
I am ready to do whatever that comes out. Please help me to beg the king. You never told me you sent your uncle packing from the house. His brother breathed for him. You never told me you removed his name from the company's payroll. That was evil. If I have heard of such things before now, I would not have even listened to you at all. I acted in error. I was misinformed. I thought he was against me. You have no right whatsoever to melt out such heart of wickedness against him. Okay, okay. And I said I am sorry. I am ready to amend my ways. Okay? It is already late now. It's not just because the king has said it. It is against our culture and tradition to keep someone who is not our true blood in our kingdom for a long time. If we don't take such a person to his real home at the appointed time, the anger of the gods will rise against us. So you have to go home and bear your cross. I done to myself. The prophet warned me, but I didn't understand. Sakule! That dream is a message from God. I know. And the message is all about your destiny. Your uncle has a role to play in your destiny. And it's left for you to allow him to succeed in playing the role or stop him from playing the role. That is the message of your dream. The prophet was right. He has a role to play in my destiny. If I had listened to him, if I had loved him like I would, he would have kept the secret that no one would know now. My wickedness has backfired on me. How do I take this? Where do I start from? Oh, oh, my world is crumbling before my eyes. This is a setup. They cooked all these lies just to achieve their aim. Don't fall for it, Debula. Don't. You cost it. Your low thinking ability contributed to my downfall. You are part of my problem. Me? Yes, you. How? What do you mean? Kuthio could have helped me retrieve my birthright. Just like the prophet said. But you will never allow me think. Whenever I want to think, you kept pushing me against my uncle and my brother. And that was actually what led to my downfall. Me! Nobody should involve me, oh! Don't blame me at all! It's not all about blame. It's not all about blame here. It's all about facing the reality. Facing the fact. Reality. You and who? The breaking look me. They ask you to stop. Right now, we hope you're not gonna lose. This is unbelievable. It's sad. So, Ebuna is not my father's son. Honey, you shouldn't look at it that way. He is still your blood. You can share the same womb. You came out from the same womb. Ah, uh, no, of course. I, I still love him. Even with this new development, I still love him. You know, nothing has changed from the way I, I feel about him. 
Okay. Even though I'm not happy the way he treated our uncle, but nothing has changed. I still love him as a brother. So what's his fate now? It's just the, the elders in council. If, if, if only they can forget about everything and, and allow us to live the way we've been living. Okay, I just wish they can overlook all of this. I just wish. It wishes were well, horses, my love. I've always known that there is something about this dream I see every night. It is not an ordinary dream. It's my life. My destiny. I've always known that. If only my father had told me before his death to report his death to the Igwe with my brother. I would have done just that. I wouldn't have start suspecting Uncle Tio. I would have done exactly that. And all these wouldn't come up. Why are you disturbing me? Why are you disturbing my son? I thought you didn't believe it was a conspiracy. Why are you still calling him your father? Why? Stop calling him your father because he's not your father. I'm going back to sleep. I don't want to be disturbed. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. They forgot you, no one. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? If I love you, no one. If you forgot to turn it, then you are. Fighting someone who's not fighting back. Why are you having Okay, so what is yours has finally returned to you. Welcome back to your house, Uncle. Being a true son of your father all this while. <laughs> he must be proud of you wherever he is right now. <laughs> At last, blood, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> Let's go in. Yes, the first thing we have to do is to send men to Ahaji for verifications to ascertain his true origin. The man Ebuka must be consulted for him to know about his son, whether dead or alive. Then the chief priest will conduct the rituals for separation. For him never to come back to this kingdom again, whether dead or alive. Igwe. What further happens to the documents of the properties of the little Lobo that have now been changed to his name? Is he going to Ohaji with him? Well, we are going to strip him of everything that belongs to our brother that is in his possession. I understand that, Your Majesty. But how are we going to do it when every property document are in his possession? Anyway, all the documents concerning 
our late Onowo's properties are in my possession. Oh no, you seem to be at rest. Igwe, I've been meaning to do this for a very long time, but I've been procrastinating. But I've decided to do it now. Inside that briefcase are documents of all my companies, my landed properties, and all the valuables I've worked for over decades. My brother is aware that I'm bringing it to you, and I believe it is safe here. Igwe, my sons are now grown. And when I hear stories about how a man works so hard, build up wealth, buy properties here and there, only to die, for his children to sell off these properties recklessly, it weakens my heart. So I decided that my sons must not know where the property documents of their father is. In case any of them wants to sell the property behind my back, it will now be difficult for them to achieve it. That's good. That's good. Igwe, the last time I spoke with my doctor, he told me that my chances of surviving this surgery is 50-50. But just in case I don't make it, I know these properties will be in good hands with you, sir. May the cause of our land forgive this, you said. You will go to that hospital and come back in peace. Yes, uh, Nothing will happen to you. Yes, uh, hey, Oh no. Why didn't you give this documents to your brother to keep? Hmm. You are a good man. That's why you ask that question. But my brother is aware that I brought it to you. And it will be very easy for my sons to break into my brother's house and collect the document. But none of them will try it in the palace. But if the need arises for any of my properties to be sold, then there will be a general agreement by the entire family with your endorsement, Igwe. Why is a wise decision? A wise decision taken by the Ono of our kingdom. Igwe. Ono. Like I said before, nothing will happen to you. The gods of our land will protect you. He said. Nothing will happen to you. He said. With those documents in my possession, we are going to strip him of everything. Not even a single thing will go with him. That young man is evil and wicked. Igwe has spoken. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone Oh no, saw tomorrow. Yes, he did see tomorrow. But such things happen when you are not sure of the paternity of your sons. Hmm. He knew Ebuna has a strange blood and is capable of anything. That was why he played on the safe side. Imagine if those documents were to be in that boy's possession. Ah, like ah. 
even the real son of late Onowu Ndudi will be crying by now. Hi. But Onowu indeed is a wise man. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's a wise man. <laughs> Let me rush down. Oh, no problem. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. All right. They pack in a queen And they ask you to stop it You bent on fighting someone Who only loved you all the way How are you? Uh, we are the one. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? Who are you people? I don't know you people. We come in peace. Yes. Okay, come. Come and sit. I have to. Thank you. Why are you fighting so? So tell me, what's your mission to my house? Like my fellow Ichi said, we came in peace. We are from Omazuri Kingdom. We were sent by the king to come and see you. Send by the king to come and see me. Yes. I hope all is well. All is well. We have been asking about you since we came into this land. And finally, we were directed to come here. We are actually looking for one Pa Ibuka who worked with uh, Zeno Construction Company some 10 years ago Correct. and retired back to the village. Yeah, I am. You are the right place. We are here in respect of your son, Ebona, whom one Miss Ifunaya dumped and got married to Echizona. Both of you were feed workers for the same company during that period. Where is Echizona? And my girlfriend that ran away with him. He married her, carrying my child, my own. Where are they? I didn't. And your blood is Yeah, take it. Take it again. Take it. If you want, is it? Oh, Please, excuse us. Uh. Okay. Oh, Allah. That's it, I'll bend again. I got it, I got it. Take it, let's go. What is it? I missed my period. Are you sure? I'm very sure of it. See, I need to go for a pregnancy test. You know, I, I, I warned you against this thing that day. You refused to listen to me. I asked that we should use protection, but you refused. Now see where it has landed us. Me especially. If you, you have nothing to worry about. I told you that I love you, and I still love you. Okay, take a look at me. Am I not old enough to be a father? I am the only son of my late father. See, my aged mother in the village will be very happy to hear about this news. So, cool down. Epka, wait. Are you in essence telling me that you will marry me? Yes. Let's do the test first. And once it's positive, I will inform my mother about it. I will, come, I will come with my people to see your people. Is this for real? Yes. Ibuka, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh my God, you're such a good man. Okay. You know, some other guys would have just denied the pregnancy and that would be the end for me. I love you. I love you. She has all that. My guy, eh? I don't think I will still go to the field with you to watch the ball anymore. Ah. What's wrong? Why? 
I, 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 are you not seeing? Ah. I'm going somewhere with my mm, <laughs> baby. Don't mind baby. me, don't mind me. Let's don't go. Mind me. Ah. So, let's go. Hey, in that case, I will go alone now ah. because I'm even ready. You, you can wait for me. Let's go. To oh, baby. Mm. You will not wait for me. Nah, as I don't go. You are this, my friend. Eh? Uh, meanwhile. Oh baby! And this one has come back. The result. It's positive. Wow! I'm very happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> oh my god! Mm. I love you. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Hey Buka. Mama. Are you responsible for her pregnancy? I am, Mama. If Naya is a decent girl, I am the only boyfriend she had. And I was also, also the one that took her virginity. So I trust her. Are you ready for marriage? How will you take care of your family with the little salary you're being paid? How? Mama, we can manage. She receives salary and I receive salary too. I will start adding overtime to my job so I earn more money. A lot of workers are happily married and living in the staff headquarters from their salaries. I believe we can manage money. I pray that God sees you true. And I also believe she will give birth to a baby boy. Amen, mommy. Thank you. Don't worry. Okay? Hmm. That boy that is called HSM, that barely joined us less than six months ago. I don't know what he gave to our boss. The white man that owns this company, the man loves him like his own son. Even Ahana, the guy that brought him, has become jealous of him. The <laughs> boss has made him his personal assistant. He no longer wants to become the shop. Some people just from shop. Just one. Mm -hmm. you know, are you trying to tell me that somebody can not see someone and like the person naturally? Exactly. But I think the word there is luck. That guy is really lucky. Mm -hmm. I mean, naturally, some people are lucky. You know, they're always like that. There is nothing anybody can tell me to convince me that that guy is not busy just now. <laughs> the boss said that when he dies, that he's going to be buried here in Nigeria and he's going to win his company to anybody or any staff of his choice. Yeah. Really? Yeah? Wait, though. wait, wait. How true is that? You know, I've heard this before, but I never really believe it. True. So it's true. As around now, the news is everywhere. The man said that when he dies, He's going to win his country to any of his favorite staff. And I think he's grooming that boy Chesu for that purpose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you mean our boss said he's going to wield the big company to his favorite staff? This now. He said, wow, this is unbelievable. I don't want to believe this. Yourself well, it's true. He has been saying it. Even in our last staff meeting, he said it. Anyways, I don't have any choice. I would have to believe it. You know, white men don't reason like us Africans. Well, where? Ebuka's door, would no response. Uh, Ebuka did not tell you that he traveled. Travel? Yes, now. Traveled to where? Ebuka traveled to the village to see his mother. I didn't tell me. Ebuka. Hey. 
Hey. And now my roommate has gone for church video with our key. Child. I hope to spend the night with him at his place. Hey. Ha. What will you do now? Richard, please, I don't know if I can spend the night with you. I will leave first thing tomorrow morning before court grows. Ha. Please. Spend the night with me. Very early in the morning, I'll leave ah. before people come out from their houses, please. Hey. Please. I don't think that would be possible. Or do you rather um, suggest I stay outside? No, no, no. No, man. Just help me for the night. Uh, okay, it's my friend. You, you can't stay outside. Well, I don't... Oh, what is it now? Sleep on your own now. Eche, please now. Let me just call you so I can sleep. No, no, I don't like it now. I don't like somebody touching me when I'm sleeping. You no, know, Ibuka will do same for me. Okay. It's just a cuddle. That is Ibuka now, not me now. Try to understand, please. Just go to bed, please. I can't sleep alone by myself. What do you want me to do now, now? Eh? That's still the reason I have a roommate, Ivan. Don't make me to enjoy this thing now. I don't like it. Please, please. now. Please. Okay, nothing will happen. I assure you. Please. Okay, now. Just leave. No problem. Smooth, 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 eh? You can touch the head. The head. How could you say such thing? Just once that I entered you, and you said you are pregnant. Just a fool. Just once that I entered. Do you have to enter a woman 20 times before she gets pregnant? For real? Okay, if you doubt me, then let's go and do a test together so you confirm it. I'm pregnant. And it's for you. What, what, what are you saying? How am I sure that I'm the one responsible for this pregnancy? How? What about Ebuka, your, your, your boo boo? Eh? Which Ebuka? Ebuka is just a friend, though. He's just a colleague. Ebuka has never seen my pants for hey! one day. I think I can lie you. Ebuka has not seen your pants for one day. How about all those movements you people have been making inside the room? Making noise front and back. Eche, what's the lie inside this thing I'm saying now? See, okay, it's true that I sleep in his room so, sometimes. But he's never crossed me. Not for one day. What a bag. I know what I'm saying now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. You think it's everybody I can open my legs for, ba? You think it's everybody? It's because I like you. Oh. It's the love I have for you that, that made me... Um, Oh, what have I got to myself into? Stop lying. The more you are lying, the more I'm getting confused. Just stop all this thing. Just stop lying. I... This thing now is your own. Just believe me. I like you if you don't know. Ify. Mwa mwa si sa cheno. Ify. Ify. What is it? What is it? What is your problem? Why are you disturbing my life? Can't I have peace? If Naya, what is wrong with you? I mean, what has come over you? What is your problem? Ebuka, look around you. If there is anybody that has a problem here, it's definitely you, not me. What is it? If Naya, ever since I traveled to the village and came back, you have been acting strange. You are practically avoiding me. Always with H's on her these days. What is going on? You are village people, probably. Ebuka, is it by force to marry you? Is it by force? Would you force me into your home? And what is the meaning of that? 
It simply means that Echosana and I are getting married pretty soon. You have a problem with that. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. And what will happen to our baby? I mean, my own baby. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, What baby? See, Ebuka, let me just tell you the whole truth. I lied to you. I lied to you about this pregnancy. The pregnancy actually belongs to Echezona, not you. So please, I'm begging you in the name of God, don't stop me again as I move. Please. Now, who's go? No, no. Who's go? No, oh, stop crying. Stop crying for that girl. She's not worth your tears at all. Mama, I'm not crying because she left me for Echozona. Echozona is now the favorite of our boss. And everybody knows that he stands the chance of being the owner of our company in the future. She left me because of his future. I'm not complaining about that. My pain is, why take my baby to another man's house? Mama, that baby in her womb belongs to me. She can't deny it. Oh. If truly that baby belongs to you, in the fullness of time, your son will surely come back to you. Oh? The boy is grown up now. Echezona and Ifunaya are both dead. But before she died, she confessed that you are the true father of the boy. According to our culture, it is wrong to keep someone who is not our blood in our kingdom for so long in order not to incur the wrath of the gods. Yes. Based on this fact, the Igwe have sent us to bring back the boy to you. And that is why we are here. This is the fullness of time. Just like my mother told me, he came in front of my son. Has he come back to me? I named him Ikemefuna because he is the son of my youth. And I know my strength will never get lost. Igwe, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. He told us the whole story. Indeed, it was a pathetic one. The child is his. He has been awaiting his return all his lifetime. That's a good news to hear. A very good news indeed. Hmm. The boy shall return back to his origin. Mwaguadigefunamba. <laughs> the whole matter is settled. Ah, that's a good news. Nice one. Very good news. Your father told us of how your mother left him when she was pregnant of you to marry your foster father, who no, he chose her because of his wealth. He has been hoping, believing that one day you should return to him. I want you to do an honorable thing. Go back to your father. I can ask what help you. I want you to leave this kingdom in peace and your honor. Because if this kingdom sends you home her own way, believe me, it will never be an honorable thing. Ichet, thank you so much for everything. I will do as you've just advised. They ask you to stop. 
right now, hope you don't gonna. If only for God, it on every day. They beg you no agree, and they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone. Pain of what? I'm living your life for good. I married you because of your father's wealth. Now that you've accepted their conspiracy and accepted that one old wretched man out there is your father and expect me to go live with you and the old man, it's not going to work. My body detests poverty. So what do you rather have me do? By now I expected you to have called a lawyer. Yes, they conspired against you. Took away your best rights. To think you've been saying this in your dream all this while and it's still not clear to you. You should fight them. Take over what rightfully belongs to you. You see, I cannot live with you in your world of fantasy. I choose reality. If poverty is your reality, then this marriage between us is over. Everything is happening so fast. I'm not sure that I can ever come out of this. to beg you. Please forgive me. I know I've wronged you and I know I've wronged God. Please forgive me so my soul and my spirit will be at rest. Because I have already forgiven you. You are like a son to me. And there is nothing a son does to his father that his father will not forgive him. So I've forgiven you. Thank Get you. Up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They ask you to stop. Right now, hope you don't gonna. At least my mind is at rest now. They beg you no agree. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. After our brief family meeting, we decided to come and see you and let you know of our decision. Go on, I'm listening. Ebuna here, my late brother's son, has agreed to go back to his people of our Haji in peace. <laughs> he has no choice. But if one thing is remaining, We've come to ask you to tamper justice with mercy. Though he is not my late brother's biological son, we will not strip him of all entitlements. If the white man who saw my brother, a common factory worker, took him in, not only that, adopted him as his son, Willed every property he had, including his factory to him, which he possessed till dead. Why, why will we allow Ebna to go empty handed? If we please, I'm pleading on his behalf. Well, I am not stripping him off of everything just because he is not the Onowo's true son. I am doing that because this man you are looking at here is evil. He is wicked. How could he have imagined such wickedness against you? Igwe, I, I, I am so sorry. I've asked for forgiveness over and over and over again. 
I'm sorry from my heart. I am, I'm so sorry for everything I did against my uncle here. And it's not going to happen again. Please forgive me, Igwe. Please, I beg. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, Igwe. Ikobara. Igwe. Please, sir. I joined my elder brother, Ebuna, on this plea. Please, sir. Tamper justice with mercy. I have always known Ebuna to be my brother. We grew up together. Please, sir. I believe he's a changed person. Let's not... Let's not stripe him off everything. At least, let's leave the house he's living in. Please. Please, Your Highness. Both of you get up and sit down. Thank you. Thank you. I've had you. Since he has accepted to go back to his people in peace, we are going to leave the house he is living in for him. He will also remain as the MD of the company. But you, Ndudi, will become the new CEO. Oh, thank you, Igwe. Igwe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's not only you people thanking me. Theophilus. Igwe. I thank you so immensely for your brotherly love. And you, Ndudi, for also the brotherly love that is existing in you. For you having considered that this man will not go back empty-handed and start life all over again. I thank you so much. Thank you, Igwe. And for you, Ebuna. Igwe. It's the high time you change to become a comprehensive good man. I've changed. I've changed already. Life is not wicked, but we human beings are making it to be wicked. You're right. You're right. You're they ask you to stop right now. Obi no gonna. If only for cut on every day. They beg you no green. And they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. They forgot you, man. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? Look at it, I can end it. You're welcome. Hi. Yes, he's the one. Even at my old age, I can still spot him. How? Oh. The strength of my life. The son of my youth, Ikemefuna. Can't you see the resemblance? Father, I'm back home. You're welcome, my son. I am Echazana's older brother. He told me how you people used to work for a white man in a factory. So when he told me about Ifunanya's pregnancy, so I inquired from him to be sure he is responsible for that pregnancy and he answered yes. 
you know it's only a woman that knows the true father of her son. What are you doing? So, before she died, she confessed to the truth that you are the true father of this boy. In the fullness of time, your son will be returned back to you, and that's why I am here. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I wish my mother is still alive. She would have lived to see her prophecy come to pass. My son. Father. Welcome back. Thank you so much. First of all, I am going to bring down this house and build a mansion here. Yes. But before then, I'll make a plan for it. Then I'll go back to my base. I'll always be coming to see you. But I'll be monitoring the mansion from my base. Then after then, I'll come back. We'll celebrate. And make merry. <laughs> okay, man. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, sir. That's my son talking. <laughs> welcome, my dear. <sighs> At the end, blood is thicker than water. Oh yes, you can see that again. Your, 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 your whole what? Your whole guinea? Or say? Oh, you thought I would be deprived from my father's wealth. Hmm? Now you've realized that it didn't happen. You're back to come and weep from waiting. So, are they possible? I'm sorry. It was the devil's work. I don't know what came over me. I still love you. You're still... Hey, 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 don't try it. Devil's work. What a wonderful devil. That can do a wonderful work. From where? Please. And I've faced the reality. I've faced my newfound identity. Okay? And you're not part of it. You're not running me at all. Baby, please forgive me. I'm you, your you don't, wife. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Okay. Please, no, I'm Let's, not don't you. try it. Honey? Yes, baby. Honey? Yes, baby. Come, 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 come. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah. This is my newfound identity and you're not part of it. Okay, baby? Mm. Well, you know what? Let's go in there and continue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when you're done, you can find your way. I present to you the new Ondowo of our kingdom. You shall take and start from where your father stopped. Your own son will start from where you stopped. This mantle of Ondowo ship will remain in your family until the time is due. And when the time is due, the mantle will be taken to another family. Therefore, today, my people of Amozari Kingdom, as I hand over this mantle to him, I present to you the new Ono. <laughs> Yeah. 
right now, we hope you don't go now. If only for God to turn everything, hey, they beg you no agree, and they ask you to stop it. You bent on fighting someone who only loved you all the way. If only for you no agree, have you seen what you've done to yourself? Fighting back. Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your imaginations. Why bring you to reality? I fight in the air, punching the wall, and getting hurt. Someone who only 